Hi guys and welcome to Motor Beam. If the Indian government had its way, then in a few years all the current 150cc and below motorcycles would become extinct in lieu of electric two-wheelers. And the motorcycle I'm riding today is thus very important. It is the Revolt RV400, one of the first affordable electric motorcycles in the country. We are riding these to tell you if the electric revolution is something to look out for. But before I get going, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the Motorbeam channel by also clicking on that bell icon. The design of this motorcycle is a mix of street fighter and sports because it gets a bikini fairing but it is actually a street fighter design with some very interesting elements. For starters it gets all LEDs, the headlight gets a projector setup as well, it gets upside down forks and a lot of the parts including the frame are exposed on this motorcycle. Now of course they had to cover the electric motor as well as the battery pack which has been done quite neatly here and those foot pegs are actually adjustable. Right now they are center set, you can swap them to make them front set as well. It gets silver colored upside down forks at the front and the swing arm is also quite unique at least in terms of appearance. But there's no mistaking this motorcycle to be a little too compact for tall riders like me although seat height is generous. However, when riding this motorcycle you do feel a bit hemmed in. But that compact nature is actually a boon because this motorcycle is actually targeted mainly for city riding and that's where it excels. It's light, easy to maneuver and the tires offer good amount of grip even though they are on the thinner side. The seating position is upright on this motorcycle and the rear view mirrors also offer a good view of what's behind. It gets a one-piece seat and pillion comfort isn't that great although the grab rails are big enough on this motorcycle. However, you really can't expect an exhaust note from an electric motorcycle because it doesn't have an exhaust at all, but this one does have an exhaust note. Now you might wonder what is the point of this fake sound? Well, it is to keep the rider engaged but also to keep the pedestrian informed that someone is coming around. Now the handlebar is slightly different when compared to traditional motorcycles mainly in terms of the switch gear. While on the left side it's very traditional like all other motorcycles in the market today but on the right there's a lot of difference. On the top of course you get the engine kill switch below which you get the riding modes. There are three of them. One stands for eco mode, two stands for city mode and three stands for sport mode. Meanwhile below that you've got a button which by the way isn't for the horn, it is for the sound of this motorcycle. It emits fake sounds and you can choose amongst four of them. However that has to be done through the app and talking about the app, well the app can do a lot of things on this motorcycle. In fact almost every parameter of this motorcycle is controlled by that app itself. It gets a push button start, obviously keyless entry with your smartphone and an all digital cluster which gets a lot of information and you can toggle through a lot of information as well. Obviously you need the Revolt app to change certain things on the console. You get a digital speedometer, there's obviously the battery indicator as well as the temperature meter and the ride mode indicator. It also gets an odometer, a trip meter as well as an ampere meter which actually is a tachometer. Unfortunately there is no clock on offer.
This electric motorcycle is powered by a 3 kilowatt hour electric motor paired to a 3.25 kilowatt hour battery pack. It produces around 9 horsepower. Meanwhile, the torque output is a massive 54 newton meters coming right from 0 rpm. That is the reason why this gets off the line so quickly. In fact, it is so punchy lower down that if you don't control the throttle while getting off the line, it will just surprise you silly. When you're riding this motorcycle and you dab the brakes, it will automatically cut throttle. However, once you cut the throttle, it starts deceleration because it has got regenerative braking. It has also got link braking system. So if you apply the rear, the front also automatically gets applied. There is no ABS on offer, but braking performance is quite decent on this electric motorcycle. The top speed it does is 85 km per hour in mode 3, which happens to be the sport mode, where the range is reduced to around 90 km. Meanwhile, in mode 2, the range increases to around 110 km. Meanwhile, the top speed is restricted to 65 km per hour. And in eco mode, which is mode 1, the top speed is restricted to just 45 km per hour, but the range can go all the way up to 160 km. The rear suspension is on the softer side and the front, well, that's kind of okay. So overall ride quality is decent because of the softness of the suspension, but that can be felt when you try to corner this motorcycle aggressively. But mind you, this is not a motorcycle anyone is going to go and take to the track. Although we are here riding it on the track today. The Revolt RV400 is a practical electric motorcycle which has a decent range, great performance for riding in the city and comes with nifty features as well. The icing on the cake is of course the fact that it's easy to ride and Revolt says it's going to be priced aggressively competing with 125 as well as 150cc motorcycles. Thus, if someone is looking to switch over to electric, this motorcycle right here will definitely act as a catalyst. However, we still have to figure a lot of things like the sales and service network of Revolt and where you're going to charge these motorcycles because of course, the infrastructure is also not in place yet. But Revolt wants to address this issue because this motorcycle gets swappable batteries. You can open this, remove the battery and on the app request for a charged one and they will do that for you as well. Making it much easier to actually use an electric motorcycle in the not so developed infrastructure of the Indian market. What are your thoughts on buying an electric motorcycle? Do you think the whole concept really works? Are you still happy with fill it, shut it, forget it for a few days without having to worry about charging or of course top end performance as well?